I know y'all like, girl, what have you been? I have been getting people DMing me like, uh, hope everything is okay. And I'm like, girl, it's okay. I just had to take me a break. Because guess what? Doing this sometimes, especially for Mother's Day, I work myself into exhaustion, okay? And it's not that serious about making no dang on baskets. So, um, I made it through Mother's Day. I actually have videos that I did when I was out selling the baskets. I did a whole video. And then... When I look back at it, I was like, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have did that. And I said, you know what? I ain't going to even post it. But then my mom was like, uh, it's reality. You know, you're not like faking it or making stuff seem what it ain't. So I said, you know what? Probably after I post this video later on in the day, I'll go back and edit it and post it as well. But yeah, I did a whole video, y'all, showing how I was out selling my baskets. Um, I did other baskets like I did about... 20 other baskets that I, I just felt like, okay, Mother's Day is over. So why should I post it? You know, I waited too late. So I just felt like it probably was just too late for me to post it because Mother's Day is over. And I made those videos up until Mother's Day because I did baskets, y'all. Okay, so this is how it went. I did, my first day going out was Thursday. Thursday, I sold everything that I had in my truck except about 10 baskets. Came home, reloaded on Friday. I took everything I had in my house out on the table sold out so friday night all night long me and my husband stayed up to seven o'clock in the morning making baskets and then i went out at like 12 when my daughter went out i kind of stayed back making more baskets throughout the day saturday i was completely sold out okay as soon as me and my husband making baskets sending them up there to my daughter within an hour just say if we started off on saturday with 25 baskets within an hour we had five baskets okay the the baskets that was getting held on to were the 175 or 200 dollar hookah baskets those was the ones we still had so we didn't have any more inexpensive baskets at all to be honest with you nothing really inexpensive baskets so we was making little 45 50 dollar baskets i did a whole table for the 20 25 baskets they were selling like hot cakes but fast as we can get the baskets up there as i'm making them okay here go baby take these five up there before he get back to me my daughter called three of those are already gone one man brought three i was like lord i don't understand how i did not make enough baskets to sell i made 140 baskets i sold out of those initially 140 off the top so the night friday night saturday day like i don't know how many i was making them i just know we was moving we was really really putting them together and they were selling out like hotcakes we even went out on sunday saturday night we stayed up again until seven o'clock in the morning making baskets we started off with 16 baskets she was sold out within like three hours well not completely sold out she only still had those three $175 baskets and $120, like maybe one $125 basket. So we was completely sold out. I was making them, but it, it, was, it wasn't enough. And I can't like understand y'all. I had my two tables and then my other two tables. They was completely packed. Top to top, top to bottom, top to bottom, both sides. And even the floor was packed. I even had some in here on the floor. So I'm like, wow, maybe next year I need to do like a storage and start filling them things up. I don't know. But I definitely over exceeded my expectations. Um, I still had a lot of inventory left, unfortunately. As behind me, I got a little bucket I don't packed up here. I put a little TJ Maxx bag on it. Because you see, I got a lot of stuff over here. I'm about to show y'all for my men from TJ Maxx. So I put a little bag over there. I got it over here in the cone. I got boxes. I just had some long boxes. I was saving my boxes every time I got stuff in. I just threw them downstairs. So I was able to use those boxes package my stuff tape it up i got a box here i gotta go downstairs so i actually had so much inventory left um i'm a little bit disappointed because i was like wow i could have made like seven thousand more dollars that's how much basket inventory i had i even had in pink bags y'all i had um twelve hundred dollars worth of pink bags left because i was selling them for 125 so that's what um 10 bags i had left so I was like, dang, I could at least did the pink bags. And they was ready. They already had the shoe boxes in them. They had the stuffing on both sides. All I have to do is load them up. But it was just not enough time in the day. And me and my husband was working like clockwork. He'll be done put the stuff together, y'all. He was in here putting stuff together. He was in here loading the bags up. He'll put the concept together. And he was doing good with the color schemes and everything. So by the time I get through bagging this one up, he don't put one together. He put it together, but I kind of had to make it decorated design it you know what i'm saying he might have had the stuff i just had to design it. 
So, okay, he'll have that design. Once he get through with that, I'll pull it over here. I'll fix it up, tape it together, however it need to be designed. Fix it together. Put it in the bag. Once I tape the bag up, um, he can shrink wrap a little bit. Just a little bit. So, we was in a little assembly line. My daughter was out selling. We was in making basket. It worked out really well. So, I just wanted to touch bases on how I did for Mother's Day. Which, like I did, I over exceeded my expectations. I still had a lot of inventory left that I could have definitely put out there. But, I don't know what it was. It was like I was working day in, day out, doing other stuff, doing other stuff. And, I felt, like, comfortable because, like I said, I had two tables, top and bottom full, flow full, stuff in here. I was like, okay, I'm doing it. But it was only 140. So I should have boosted my level up to about 250. Because honestly, within two days, I was sold out. Thursday and Friday, it was over with. Mother's Day, a lot of people kept coming around. I didn't have too much inexpensive items. So we kind of had to stay out there about four hours to sell out. Because we only had the high price items, 125, 175. Um, it worked out really well. And let me tell you one other thing. Um, as far as selling goes, y'all. It was like a person on every corner. It was a person across the street from me. It was a lady beside me. And then even one of my subscribers came and kind of ducked me off in the front of me. So I was like, what the world? She came and put up her little U-Haul truck, honey, and she was out there doing it. And me personally, I'm like, okay, it's enough money out here for everybody. But at the same time... It's like stopping my trap because I'm in the middle. You're on this end, I'm in the middle, and she's on this end. Which, the other lady I wasn't worried about. You know, she had uh, a big bear with some fake purses in the bag for $90. She had some other stuff, which I'm not knocking her stuff. They, they was nice stuff, but it was just like, it was a competition, okay? Because you can see my basket sitting on the table. You can see what she got, and a lot of people was just coming down after it and like still getting stuff from me i did have one guy was like man i don't waste i don't bought this stuff up there i should have came down here to you so um she kind of stopped a tad but not really because once they seen what she had they still came down and then my subscriber with her you how of course we kind of had some similar stuff but um she was on the other end, so you can get to me two ways. You can come in this way, you can come in that way. I had the lady that had her truck, her, some stuff on her truck on one end, and then she pulled up with the U-Haul. And then my daughter was like, Mom, she was calling because I was making bags for the whole time. And at first I was like, you know what, it's okay. Um, we're almost sold out. We don't got no inexpensive items, so that way they can go over there for the inexpensive. Because even Kissa, Kissa came. Um, this was on Saturday, y'all. Kissa came. She sat up beside me, and I was like, Kissa, come on, girl. Get your, cause Kissa had been out selling in another area, and we don't, we don't short, we call it short stopping. We don't short stop each other, even though we're friends, we want to support each other. It's, it's not good for us to be setting up and selling in the same area, cause that brings competition, and I don't want my friend to be my competition. So we know of another area. She took that area, I took my area, but my area, she, I was selling way more than she was. So I told my friend, I said, "Girl, come down here with me, because I only have like, I think I had seventy five and up." If not even no more seventy five dollars stuff, so I said, "Kids, just come sit up beside me. If they don't want to spend that much, they can go over to your table. If they don't like some on your table, which we kind of had the same stuff. Either way, which way it go, I didn't mind. That's my sister almost. So I was like, girl, come sit up beside me. She came and set up. She started doing better, and we was fine. It was me, my table, kiss the table, and the lady truck. We still was selling like hotcakes. It didn't matter how many people was out there. It was people across the street and everything. But presentation is everything. So I had my big pretty bowls on mine. I had the pink bag sitting on the table. The big hookahs. So apparently it was just like. Not to toot my horn. Or, or you know. Trying to stay humble. My stuff was the best stuff out there. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I'm not going to say no lie. I was rhyme pads. I was like. And a lot of people was calling them. Old lady baskets. I'm sorry, y'all. That's what they was up. They was coming up to my table. And I was like, what she got down there? A lot of little old lady stuff. What she got over there? A lot of little old lady stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, what's the old lady stuff? I think they don't like those wicker baskets. So I felt like the younger generation people, buyers, was coming to me. And mainly my daughter is young, so they see her out there. One lady told me, she said, um, I haven't seen nobody that looks like you out here selling baskets never one other person and i said look like me what you mean and she was like of like the younger generations because she she said she'd been doing baskets for 28 years 28 years and she was just saying like my basket was so different so creative and she loved everything that i was doing and she didn't understand how i was able to learn she said i I said, y'all started last year. I did um, Valentine's Day. I did Mother's Day. I did Easter. And I did Father's Day. 
And then I started over this year. She was like, what? And you shrink wrap like that? She was like, she, you know, she just congratulate me, which I was so proud of myself coming from somebody with 26 years experience. I was very proud of myself from all the stuff she was telling me. And she was just like, I haven't seen nobody of your like your age range that does baskets like my daughter was out there she's young and when you see you just see her long hair flowing and i felt like a lot of that came traffic especially me in traffic was from my daughter because they i can't look looking and nothing i'm like honey ain't you buying something for your wife or your your mom your, your whoever you buying it from don't be looking at my daughter like that okay that's that's still a child to me so i felt like a lot of um, and I say that because when I was out there by myself, it was like I kind of slowed down. And then when she came, I don't know if it just was the time, what it was, but it was like people everywhere. I don't know. And I told her, I said, day, I feel like when you out here, I do better. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't matter. I was out there by myself. I did well as well. But I just felt like coming from what she said and based on my experience on how the cars pull up when she's out there, they're not used to seeing people that young selling baskets. I don't know. Why does age matter? But I did get people that came up. The younger people, a lot of young people came about my stuff. I had a few um, older people. My dad's age range came around. But the majority of people were stopping was like 19, 20, 25 or less. A lot of younger generation, and I feel like that was contributed to my daughter. Just my opinion. Um, when I'm out there by myself, like my daughter said, Mom, when you out here, you got to do something with your head. You sitting out here with a thing on hat on. Looking the mask is what she called it, but I thought I looked the good, honey. I ain't going to tell you no lie. You know me. I, I don't care how I look. I thought I looked the good. So I thought I looked the good, and my daughter was like, you got to get yourself together when you're standing out here. So I said, maybe that, that, that might help. You know what I'm saying? But um, how I get to that part of it is I don't know. I don't know how they, like, not body shame nobody or, like, judge somebody based on how they look as if whether they're going to stop or not. You know what I'm saying? Even though my bass is looking very, very good compared to what you've seen on the other side, you seen big at my table. You seen the big hookahs. You didn't know where it was. So I felt like that's why with so many people around me, people stopped. Not even about the hookahs, the pink bags. It was just like everything. The presentation was very good, very cute. Not to say theirs wasn't. It just was different. And I sold out in two days. Basically one and a half. Because I went out there that Thursday and went back. I was completely almost empty. Ten. And when I say ten, it's the big one cent. Excuse me, y'all. The 175 stuff. So, I only had high price stuff when I left from out of there. Then the next day, I sold out. So, that, that's just my opinion. I just wanted to put that out there. Not saying uh, if you're a certain kind of age, you should not be out there selling basket. I definitely don't want to get that impression. But, on my side of town, that's just how they was stopping. Okay, that, that's just how they was coming. But she came and pulled a big old U-Haul truck, truck over there. Um, and it kind of stopped my traffic because... Her on the end, I still had, but if you had passed me and you came in, you would stop there first because you're looking at a big old U-Haul truck. That means that's a lot of different options compared to my little one table. So I actually had pulled out two tables. I pulled out two tables and filled both tables up until I sold out. Um, but I feel like I want a U-Haul truck, y'all. Full of stuff next year. I did well with my truck. I filled it up and I got a big Navigator XL. So I was able to fit like 70 baskets i would say about 70 baskets in that truck at one time because i had it packed from wall to wall and i know how to maneuver and move them around it's just like my son had packed the truck up he probably had like 20 baskets and it was full and when i came and moved and tucked and did it was like the whole truck was still uh, no room i mean it had room in the whole truck you know what i'm saying so i kind of moved mine around a little bit but i do feel like a u-haul truck makes it seem like Oh, they got a lot of options. Let me go over there and check them out. Um, she did mention that the U-Haul truck was like $286 for the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which I feel like $300 isn't bad. Let's just say two of my $150 baskets. I just know I need to make, okay, let me do these $250 baskets, put these to the side. That's going to pay for my U-Haul truck. That's how I would look at it as far as, because I it was like, oh, that's a lot. But then when you look at it, three whole days, that's not really bad. That's that's kind of amazing. hundred dollars a day. You just need to sell two baskets, really. Two hundred fifty dollar, two hundred and fifty dollar each baskets to pay for it. 
Um, but yeah, other than that little hiccup that slowed us down Saturday, um, it was amazing to me. Um, the people across the street, I would see people go over there, then come over there. They like to shop around. I had people come over there to mines and be like, okay, well, let me go see what she has. And then they would co probably come back and get something. And then sometimes they'll say, let me go see what she has. And then they won't get, you know, they won't come back. Because I felt like my stuff was just too high. All I had left was $125, $175 for people that only wanted to spend $25, $35, and $45. So to me, it was like, that's fine. They only got, they got, that way, if they come over here and they don't see nothing, they can go over there. But I just know this time, next year, when I do it, like I told my dad, my daughter, we got to get all three. Because me and you was here together. And then my other daughter was even out there. My mama was even out there. So I just said, listen, we're going to get a table on the end where they coming in, a table on the other end where they coming in, and we'll be in the middle as well. We're going to take over that whole parking lot because it's a lot of, um, money out there you know what i'm saying we're gonna take over the whole parking lot and i'm just gonna make sure i have enough stock uh i can have her down there if you want fifty dollars and under me in the middle with 100 and up and then my mama or somebody on the end with 45 and down but i'm a, that's got it that's my area i gotta keep it on lock because i have people that was catching the bus up there i had people that was walking up there that i met from valentine day that called and said you got baskets or you in the same place yes i'm in the same place and that that's even better because that lets you know that your baskets are good. If people are calling you, asking you, where you at? I need your baskets. Or pulling up at you and be like, yeah, girl, I'm back. I, you know, I got those from you Valentine's Day. Or I got those from you East. I had to come up here and see if you was up here. So I feel like that's my spot now. So I got to take over the whole three places for future reference. I got to. But people was coming up there looking for me. They let me know that the stuff I put in my baskets or the person that accepted their gift really appreciated really liked it and they felt like i gotta go back and get a basket from her because like i said when my husband bought me that basket that time i was like baby ain't nothing in here but some paper and you paid 250 300 however much money you paid i was like you know what i'm finna start making baskets my son said 500 i don't know it, it was that much but it was nothing really in that basket and that's what made me be like you know what let me make some baskets and i be filling my stuff up as much as i can good prices for everything and that's what made me come up with it so I feel like them coming back to me on Mother's Day or calling me trying to see why I was on Mother's Day and they've already purchased for me. The best is that we're good, even though they're Dollar Tree items mainly because, you know, I like Dollar Tree. I like Bath and Body Works and I put that stuff in my baskets. I feel like it's good enough. It's definitely good enough. These people are calling and coming back. These people are purchasing four or five baskets at a time. So it's not like, dang, I'm wasting my money. I wish I would have never bought that. I could have got her this or I could have got her that. They're actually appreciative of my gifts, how they are. And I think we're doing good, y'all. I really do think we're doing good. I hope everybody out there sold out or at least sold and made their money back. Because that's just like Father's Day. I'm getting ready to do this video for y'all for Father's Day. Showing y'all all my Father's Day ideas. Um, a lot of people are saying they're not making fathers they give baskets because um, women really don't be buying fathers they stuff like that. To me, I would say I sell out because I don't really have a quota. I make them as I go. I might make two or three and people are like, okay, let me get them three. But I've never done it in a um, volume that I'm going to do it for this mother, this father's day. Right now I have about 100. I, I made sure I got 100. Or is it 88? And then I got some wrapping paper over here. But either way it go, I'm going to do 100. All I'm going to do as many as I do, however many I end up with. I'm not going to worry about it because I feel like at the end of the day, as um, long as I make my money back, this is going to be a test to tell me how I would do for Father's Day. I haven't been out on the street selling for Father's Day. And honestly, last Father's Day, you couldn't really find nobody out there on the street selling for Father's Day. How you found... Everybody and their mama out selling Mother's Day baskets last year, Father's Day. You didn't hardly see nobody. Because I was asking my daughter, like, okay, you got anybody on the street out there? I didn't make enough to sell, but I only wanted to know was people out there selling. And every day, nobody was around selling Father's Day baskets, y'all. Last year, I only did my naughty um, squawberries. I did my naughty baskets. Um, I did a few alcohol baskets. Those I would not be selling out there on the street. They're going to be pre-order only. Um, but that's all I did. If I didn't get a pre-order for it, I did not make it. This year, I'm taking a walk, a leap of faith, and um, I'm going to do as many baskets as I can do. I bought a whole bunch of inventory. So far today, I would say I have spent, um, I want to say $1,500. I went out the first day, I had $500, and I went to my wholesale supply to buy my dove and stuff. And then 
When I left there, I spent four hundred dollars. When I left there, I went to um, and I bought them out. For those of you that's DMing me, asking me, can I go get y'all some stuff, Dove, and all that stuff? I bought it all. And the fact that they don't notice, like me and my crew, me and my YouTube family, us basket makers are coming in here buying this stuff out. Y'all need to be stocked for us, okay? Cause we in here really showing y'all some love. We is buying y'all stuff out. We was buying out the hookahs. We bought out all the two hoes hookahs. So restock this stuff because apparently whatever kind of um, sales y'all normally used to get, now y'all on another level with us basket makers coming in there getting that stuff. And you got to be able to keep up with the inventory of us because we, I bought this stuff out. They should not be selling out right now. Uh, so don't even call and ask me to go get it for y'all. I'm already bought everything I can get out of there. I bought it all. I bought it out because I knew y'all was coming and I needed it. So I've spent $400 there. I left there and I went to Burlington. At Burlington, I'm getting this, the little packs of Tommy or Polo. They really ain't have no Polo. Um, they had a lot of True Religion and Nike, Kevin Klein. Getting sets like that. Now, mind you, they are expensive. So, I might buy three shirts for $20. And then buy three packs of drawers for $12.99 or something like that. So, that's like $35. $20, $30, dollars right there. You know what I'm saying? For three gifts. But I look at it like, okay, I just got to sell one seventy-five dollar baskets. I get a profit of two baskets, one hundred and fifty dollars for these two, and then I do it in rotation. And once I keep doing it, it builds up to be thousands of dollar profit versus I'm only doing two, so I ain't gonna make nothing but one hundred and fifty dollars. But because I'm able to go out and buy it in bulk and volume, I'll be able to see thousands of dollars back from Father's Day if it all sells. But like I said, um. So there I spent $697, so $700. And then I went to TJ Maxx and spent about $300. So seven, twelve. I want to say I, I spent under $2,000. But if I sell it how I want to sell it, I would have a $9,000, $10,000 profit or more. $10,000 profit. And I'm making these baskets real plain and simple, real inexpensive. Um, I heard that people don't like to, they really don't be spending over $100 for their men's. Um, it depends on the person, but honestly, I be selling them berry boxes for $45, $55. I sell my Mr. Nasty baskets for $100, and they sell out every time. Uh, but I don't even be doing like 10 to 15 baskets, and I sell out. That's at $100. That's $1,500, okay? So I'm, I'm not doing too high baskets. Like, I went up to $250. I sold that $250 Bluetooth hookah too, y'all. I went up to $250 with my Mother's Day baskets. I'm not going that high with Father's Day. It's only going to be inexpensive stuff under a hundred dollars uh under a hundred dollars is the farthest i'm going is a hundred okay unless i get somebody that want to do a pre-order and i say okay you want a hundred fifty dollar basket then i can do some men's for hookahs i specifically kissa want to do some men hookah baskets but i just feel like uh and i don't want to offend nobody but i don't feel like a man should be puffing on a hookah I don't know. It's like, um, I don't know. But I knew men, I know men smoke hookahs. I just don't like the look of it, of a man smoking a hookah, because it's more ladylike to me. I don't know. Um, but I'm not doing hookahs for Mother's Day, for Father's Day. Kilsa's probably going to try a few. I just don't feel that women are buying a man a hookah. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Um, I know I got a couple cousins that smoke hookah, but... They the LGBTQ community cousins, okay? I haven't not seen one of my straight male cousins smoke any of them. When we out and everybody is doing it, we'll see my other cousins do it, but not my other cousins. If You, you understand what I'm trying to say. So I just don't feel like I should do the hookahs for the men's. If y'all feel like I should try a couple, let me know. But I was just going to let Kilsa see Kilsa try. Hey, Pookie. I was going to let see Kilsa try it and see how it goes. But I'm not making men hookahs. Uh, mainly going to stick to my Dove baskets, my Axe baskets, my um, Old Spice baskets, my Car Wash baskets, my Barbecue baskets. I'm doing three of those. Um, and I have some Adidas baskets. I have a lot of different high shoes back here. I'm about to do a full haul. I just want to come in and at least do this video to y'all. Explaining where I've been, okay? Because it was it was a lot. Having to do that all day long, 
it's more stressful from doing it at your own pace. So I feel like I over, I, I, I worked myself into exhaustion. I know I definitely did because that whole, we was going to sleep at like seven and waking back up at 10. There's three hours for two days. Wasn't really eating like I supposed to, which, um, I was eating. When I sat down to eat now, I was eating. I might have had two meals in front of me, but I was just going throughout the day without eating. So like my sister Sharon told me yesterday, I have to stop doing that. Um, whether it's drinking a shake or just eating an egg, anything to put on your stomach every three hours, every six hours, something with a one little egg, something to put on your stomach helps you make it throughout the day. Um, I'm a snacker, a bag of chips, anything, crackers, um, banana or strawberries, anything that you can eat throughout the day when you're working and that busy. She just told me a lot of little things I can do to stop that. Because I was going just making the baskets all day long. Not stopping because I'm trying to keep up with her. As I'm sending five out, she sold three. By the time he get back, and it was like that all day long. It was very, very exhausting. Um, even though I feel like I started ahead of time. Now, I did start ahead of time right after um, Easter. But a lot of stuff I was waiting on to come in. Either from Timu, so I was waiting on this and waiting on that. Wasn't making my baskets. So I do feel like I see why I kind of slipped in time where I could have made more or did more. I, I feel like I could better that next time. But yeah, it was very exhausting doing that. When we left there, I came home, I ate Mother's Day. That next day, I got up bright and early when I got my hair bleached again, blowed out, very pretty. Um, I got my nails did, which I can't stand these nails. I do not like them. Um, I got my toes did. I got my eyebrows waxed. I had my lashes done. Monday, I took a, a me day, and I just felt so good coming from that whole weekend of being stressed out and moving fast-paced like I was doing. Um, so, I did feel good Monday. When I came home Monday, I said, let me make a YouTube video for my YouTube subscriber telling how everything went. So, specifically, this, this specific video should have been done on Monday. After I got myself dolled up and cute. But once I got home, I just felt so relaxed and everything. I ordered my red lobster and I sat in my bed and ate. Once I got done with that, I was like, oops, I'm sorry, YouTube. So I'm sorry it has taken time to get to this video. But at this whole week, I was just laid out in the bed either ordering some stuff or um, three days. Okay, so Monday I went on my little me day. Um... Tuesday, I laid in the bed all day. Wednesday, I laid in the bed all day. Thursday, I started shopping at Burleson. Thursday and Friday. And today is Sunday. Okay, so um, later on tonight, I'm doing my giveaway video. A lot of people had been DMing me, asking me had I done it yet. And no, I had not done it. So throughout them days, I was laying around. I was checking the calculations and making sure I have everybody whose name is supposed to be in there multiple times in the box. So tonight, I'm going to finally do that giveaway. I couldn't do it last Sunday. Sunday was Mother's Day. You know, I was completely busy. The Sunday before that, I was out selling. Well, making baskets because I posted being out selling. Um, so I just did not have, you know, trying to keep up with Mother's Day. I didn't have the time to do it on the date that I was supposed to do it. Then now, now, now this is the first Sunday after Mother's Day, my free Sunday. I'm going to get it done today. Get those um, two winners out their stuff. Um, at least let y'all know who they are so we can start the process of getting the stuff out. And um, that's where I'm at with it, y'all. I took that whole week as a relaxation week. But now, I had to rejuvenate myself, honey, because now it's Father's Day. And it's going to be nonstop from here. Because I'm not going to end up like I was, left with inventory. Like I said, I wanted everything I had Mother's Day-ish out of my house. Everything supposed to went in the basket, and it was gone. Even with us moving like we was moving at the last couple days, I still had a lot of stuff left. Um, so I'm not trying to be left with this stuff for Father's Day. Even though it gives me a head start for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day next year. It gives me a head start, but I'm trying to get everything I got here on the table, like I said, for Mother's Day. So from here on out, it's non-stop again. I'm going to make sure I get my meals in and my sleep in. But other than that, it's non-stop. Because even though with Father's Day, I got my last um, two, four, I got five graduation baskets I got to make. Two um ordered and three just gonna be out there. I'm gonna make them and see who wants them. Cause this week coming up is um our school's graduation week. So I know some of y'all already graduated and stuff like that. But for my area, the main two schools that I'm focusing on, they graduate this week. So I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna show my inventory for my Father's Day. Then I'm gonna start on my graduation baskets. And then I have to do a housewarming baskets. A couple of them for my daughter, my niece, just moving into her new apartment. 
whoop whoop yay Shamaya I'm gonna do like a um toilet tissue basket made out of toilet tissue with some other stuff like toothpaste and toiletries all around it and uh it's gonna be cute and then I'm gonna do another one with like a relaxed basket just for her. You got your household tissue made basket, and then you have your other basket, which like I'm gonna have house shoes and stuff like that. So then after that, it's great Father's Day for the next to up until Father's Day, which is June the 14th, which is really not that much time. That's like I would say three weeks from now. So yeah, a lot more videos gonna be popping out. Sorry, I took a break, but I had to take a break for Mother's Day. I the three days of relaxation and the other days been shopping because today's Sunday the other three days been shopping so it really wasn't that much time off it was only like three days off and then three days back to work um I do have a lot of videos like I said I was making videos the whole time I just didn't have time to sit down edit them because in some cases I have to make sure I ain't said the wrong thing or did the wrong thing some cases I try to edit and watch what I was doing um and with those videos because I was out doing like i said i needed to edit it so i'm sorry about that i feel like i still post them for next year a lot of people watch my last year videos this year so i probably just post them they'll see them next year or whatever when you're bored you want somebody to listen to talk to you can watch the old ones or something like that but that's it for this video y'all just wanted to touch bases on how i did hope i didn't step on in any toes when i started talking about the um old lady baskets or anything like that i definitely do not want to step on nobody's toes but that's how they was walking up to me saying it and me myself i consider myself i'm almost 40 i'll be 40 this year so i kind of consider my i'm in the old lady you know not the elder stage but i am like somewhat of an old lady you know i got a lot of experience a lot of knowledge i i would consider myself an old lady you know because you know you got to be able to make it to that level and i think i've made it to that level with all the knowledge and stuff i've been through i feel like i'm an old lady and not calling myself like an old lady but just saying um older women has a lot of knowledge and i'm i thank god i don't made it to the age i am so i don't mind being considered that the younger generation which is my daughter them age um so i didn't take it when they were saying it i was like hold up these old lady baskets too you know what i'm saying but they just was different they didn't really like the wicker baskets no matter what they had in, they could have had the same stuff I had in mine and they didn't like them. But that's just my area. You go over there into a maybe better high class area, something like that. They're going to want the more better baskets and stuff like that. But where I was, the the um, the little bucket baskets, the pink bags, the boxes, that was like a new age thing to them. They was like, girl, where you been? I ain't seen nothing but them little old lady baskets. I'm like, old lady baskets. But again, I just step on no top of the toes because I'm in the old lady range too. I'll be 40 this year. Not old lady, but it's an old lady and then it's an elder. I'm either one. So I feel like at 50, 60, I'm your elder. Like, real, real knowledge. You know, that's how I look at it. Like, I'm, I'm real, real knowledge at that point. Um, But that's it, y'all. I ain't going to talk y'all to death. That's how I did. I did well. hope everybody else did well. Even if you do did, didn't do well, at least you have a learning experience on how what works for your area what doesn't work for your area what you feel like you can sell what prices you can sell take it as a learning experience that's yourself off let's get ready for father's day um like i said most people are not gonna do that many but i am gonna do a lot and long as i make my profit back like i said it's gonna be a learning experience for me so i know next year what i'm gonna do other than this i'm gonna do be doing my naughty baskets i'm gonna be doing my naughty berries um yeah definitely my naughty berries and that's it y'all i guess i will see y'all in the next video um dang i talked 33 minutes i just been talking a long time but it was a lot y'all it's been a week worth of stuff i have to talk to y'all about it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot but i hope you enjoyed this video um make sure you like comment and subscribe and see y'all next time what he said so there he said make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and see y'all next time so i'm gonna go with what he said bye y'all